In the old days, Mileyow produced barley and wheat in abundance, so it's called the town of wheat and barley. As it's located at the Jiaoshui River estuary in central Taiwan, the annual northeast monsoon blows forcefully for more than a half a year here. The sand, soil and sea salt in the winds create the direct wind blows, end of the river and September winds, the most symbolic representations of Mileyow. In the early days, Mileyow had only a little farmland and few fish farms. The over-extraction of groundwater caused subsidence. Thus, floods occurred whenever there was heavy rain. The local population continued to move away. Today, the number of for-profit business registrations in Mileyow has tripled. Hotels, restaurants, supermarkets and convenience stores opened one after another. And then banks opened here too. And just like that, Mailiao became the most prosperous township on Yunlin's coastline. It's the only township with steady population growth. All of these changes began from the construction of the sixth naphtha cracking plant. In the 1970s, Taiwan's economy was taking off. The government drastically promoted the transformation from agriculture to light industry, and large-scale exportation of goods generated profits from foreign exchange. At the time, the primary and secondary processing of plastics was FPG's core mission. Due to the rise of light industry, it was common to encounter shortages of petrochemical materials in the upstream supply chain. More than 60% of the supply was dependent on imports. As a result, starting in 1973, many proposals were made to the government which suggested the building of a naphtha cracking plant, but none were accepted until permission was granted in 1986. In 1991, FPG began construction. This is Taiwan's sixth naphtha cracking plant, six naphtha for short. It is also Taiwan's first privately owned naphtha cracking plant. Six naphtha cracking project covering a total development area of 2,603 hectares. In 1994, land reclamation began to first establish the foundation necessary for construction, eight kilometers in length and four kilometers in width. The total area of reclaimed land is 2,255 hectares. It's four times the size of Japan's Kansai Airport, which is also built on reclaimed land. This fully presents the unyielding perseverance of FPG. Today, the 6 naphtha has a total of 56 running plants. Imported crude oil is used to produce petroleum products, including naphtha, gasoline, and diesel. The naphtha cracking plant is thus able to produce ethylene, propylene, butadine, and aromatics, and other basic petrochemical raw materials at the top of the supply chain. These are supplied to plants in the park to produce polyethylene, propylene, phenol, PTA, and various other petrochemical raw materials. These materials are then provided domestically and internationally to various industries for different applications in biomedical technology, transportation equipment, information technology, and more. To facilitate transportation of raw materials and products, the Mailiao Harbor was built. It can accommodate vessels up to 300,000 tons. FPG's cell phone fleet also expanded to more than 50 vessels. After imported raw materials are transported to the harbor by vessel, they are transferred through the pipelines in the complex, which are about 2,000 kilometers long. They are processed in plant after plant. This not only drastically saves on transportation time and cost, but also reduces carbon emissions from transportation and potential risks. The six NAFTA cracking project includes heat power cogeneration plants and independent power plants. They not only provide various plants in the park with the electric power needed to operate, but also generate electricity to sell to Taiwan Power Company. This mitigates the problem of electricity shortage in Taiwan. For a long time, FPG has placed particular importance on the philosophy of the circular economy. We work hard to find the perfect balance between industrial development and environmental protection. Aspects concerning raw materials, water resources, energy, and waste products are all considered comprehensively. 
Other than linking and integrating the energy and resources in the production process, proactive efforts are put into waste reduction for recycling and reuse. FBG is striving toward the goal of zero waste. Since the construction of the 6th NAFTA, becoming an eco-industrial park has been the hope for the plant. We have invested 4.6 billion U.S. dollars in environmental protection in the aims of becoming an eco-industrial complex. With the increased rate of production by 10% over the past 10 years, the water used for each unit has dropped by almost 30%. Every drop of water is fully utilized. The water saved every year is equal to the water volume that fills 43,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. After ongoing concerted efforts in several aspects regarding water usage reduction, less than 5% of the annual water capacity of the GG Weir is used by the 6th NAPTA. This is far lower than the 90% of weir water captured used for agriculture. The gas and electricity consumed by each product unit have both dropped nearly 20%. The reduction in carbon dioxide is equivalent to the amount absorbed by 30,000 Don Forest Parks. Efforts are actively being made to reach the goal of zero emissions, waste water, and waste products. Included in this is the chemical and bio-cleansing processes for wastewater. The processed water can be used to breed koi fish. Its cleanliness is clearly visible. The 6th NAFTA uses fewer resources and less energy to produce more products. The production of exhaust, wastewater, and waste products have all markedly declined. These are the results of our long-standing efforts. They also show the importance that the 6th NAFTA places on the environment and sustainability. We also care deeply about environmental greening. 1.45 million trees have been planted in the complex. They not only combat the impact of harsh weather, but also enhance environmental quality and employee well-being. The direct wind blows, end of the river, and September winds from 20 years ago have been replaced by greenery and the chirping of birds and insects. Even in the Mailiao Harbor, various colorful corals and tropical fish have appeared too. Sometimes even dolphins are seen jumping and playing around, making the place very lively. The estuary of the Jiao Sui River near the complex with abundant ecological systems has attracted many wild birds to inhabit and become a new paradise for bird lovers because of the growing species and quantity of wild birds. To ensure the physical wellness of six NAFTA's employees and nearby residents, and to achieve environmental and ecological protection, we conduct long-term monitoring of the quality of the air, seawater, ecology, effluent, groundwater, and soil within the park and in neighboring areas. Responding specifically to residents' biggest concern, air quality, an eight-layer environmental monitoring network has been set up. Continuous monitoring is conducted by computers and staff. Any abnormal conditions are dealt with and reported immediately. Also, various monitoring data on chimney and effluent discharge are uploaded in real time and sent to the local Environmental Protection Bureau and Yunling Offshore Industrial Park Service Center. This data is reviewed by government authorities to ensure that environmental impact is minimized. FPG has always adhered to the principle of take from society, give back to society. FPG gives back to society through action. Since the HCP-6 was built, FPG has continuously paid attention to the core values and needs of the local area. Strengths and resources are integrated to work toward the common good with surrounding villages and townships. In 1999, we began participating in the renovation of old and hazardous school buildings we help the government in providing students with safe and comfortable learning environments. We also continue to donate and build public infrastructure in Mailiao and nearby towns and villages, as well as the facilities and equipment desperately needed by vulnerable groups. We also help to elevate the service quality of organizations providing early intervention. 
We also support the Yunlin Second Prison in conducting drug addiction treatment and rehabilitation through technical vocational training to assist the prisoners return to society. Local employees enjoy their work. We facilitated formation of a volunteer team of employees who conduct community care visits in villages and townships. We also show our care to vulnerable groups and financially challenged families and give a hand to local people that are in need. By participating in the education field, we're also reducing the rural-urban divide. Examples of this include the financial help given to junior high and elementary school students in nearby regions, nutritious charitable breakfasts, scholarships, and after-school counseling and tutoring for students. We encourage students to strive for higher goals so they can help others too in the future. To ensure the health of local residents, in 2009 we established the Yuanlin Chang'an Memorial Hospital. Local residents no longer require long travel to hospitals far away for quality medical treatments. Also, residents of Mai Liao and Taishi are provided with free annual health care checkups. For residents who have abnormal test results, a health care team assembled by professional nurses was formed. The team provides them with door-to-door -door visits for appropriate medical advice and health tracking. To elevate the wellness of residents, we co-host hygiene education activities with schools and communities, promoting a healthy lifestyle. Yunlin is a county that thrives on the agriculture and fishing industries. In 2009, we started working with professional teams to promote the agriculture and fishery counseling program. Scientific management methods involving less pesticides and antibiotics led to a management concept integrated with health to boost the quality and quantity of produce. We also held showcase sale events for agricultural and fishery products. This helped open up more sales channels, drastically elevated product visibility, and increased the income of farmers and fishermen. Mai Liao is located in a rural area on the coastline. Residents rarely have the chance to enjoy metropolitan arts and cultural performances, so we sponsored a famous Taiwanese opera troupe, Minghua Yuan Arts and Cultural Group, Yuan Lan Puppet Theater Troupe, children's theater groups, and several other unique Taiwanese arts and culture groups to tour around nearby villages and townships. Arts and cultural events that suit both refined and popular tastes are brought to rural communities. This also provides the art and culture groups with new inspiration, nutrient, and recognition to gradually expand and grow stronger. We incorporated the Matsu Cultural Festival at Mai Liao's Gongfan Temple into the factory and town family Matsu Greets Thousands of People event. The public was invited to visit the factory to witness the achievements made by the 6th NAFTA in industrial safety, environmental protection, and caring for the local residents. The implementation of the 6 NAFTA cracking project solved Taiwan's shortage of petrochemical materials. It laid a strong foundation for various industries in Taiwan. For Yunlin, besides the local buildings and values given back to society, and besides the various and friendly interaction with neighbors, the most direct result is the employment opportunities created here. This has enabled the young people of Yunlin to stay and work in their hometown. Directly and indirectly, the lives of the surrounding residents have been improved. In the past 10 years, 6 NAFTA's average annual output value exceeded 47 billion U.S. dollars and more than 586 million U.S. dollars in taxes paid on average every year. In the aspects of local government, industrial development, and national economy, the 6 NAFTA has made the most actual and notable contributions. The 6th NAFTA is the result of the joint efforts of many people on the land of Taiwan. This group of people are loyal to their jobs, hardworking, and responsible. They also actively support communities. They built a strong foundation for industrial development and created impressive benefits for the country. We're committed to our original goal, and we persevere. We also hope to receive continuous support and encouragement from everyone. Together, let's create a better future for Taiwan.